Okay, as promised in the first video, we've got the case here. I spared you the unboxing of the case. This is a power spec case, which is part of Micro Center's, uh, their brand name line. Um, $24 for this case, does not have the power supply. It's a bare case. Now they do have it for around $37. That includes a 300 watt power supply. So, and it's a, this is again, is a very basic case. It's, uh, then that's all I'm looking for. If you want something fancy, you're gonna spend more money. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's fairly thin, but it's, it does the purpose. And that's all I need it for. I'm gonna go put it up on the bench and we'll show you the features of the case and uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Okay, returning with the case here. Here it is, you can see it's bare bones. Uh, no power supply, does have one fan. It's got four bays there. And you've got two five and a quarter, a three inch bay there. Uh, it's held, the side is held on by two screws. You just simply unscrew them, take them out. You've got all the screws for your motherboard and whatnot. On the front, you do have two USB ports and you've got the audio uh, microphone and headphone jack. It is a, like I said, it is a fairly cheap case. I mean, it, it's not real thick, but for 24 bucks, you can't beat it. Now, going back to cases, if you've never built a computer and you're, you know, you're wanting to, you're gonna have to buy your case based on your motherboard. Um, so the first thing I always do is I like to choose my motherboard and then I'll buy a case based off of that. Um, you can build it around a, a case, but if you've got a specific motherboard you wanna go after, then do that, look for the case later or build your own case. I mean, you can make a case out of a shoe box. It's not really a big deal. Um, it just, you know, saves you time if you buy one already made. This is a, uh, a mini ATX, ATX case. Now, if you get a mini ATX board or a regular ATX board and you try to shoot for a mini ATX case, it's not gonna work. This one has both. So it'll do mini ATX and ATX. So that's one thing to look forward to. Um, and most boards are ATX, at least from my local reseller. Um, so that's really about it. Like I said, just a quick overview. You've got this fan here. You do have an area up front for another fan, and we'll go ahead and install that in the next video. I want to keep these kind of short because they are in HD. Um, and obviously, here are your connections for uh, your, your fan and your, um, your front inputs there. So that'll do it for this video. Please feel free to post questions or comments, and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.